So let's set up a prototype with my travel app, what we've been working on. A few things to do first though, go ahead and press Shift-1 so you can zoom to fit, and then press Control-G so you can hide the layout grids. On the right over here, you're gonna see we have the prototype tab. Click on that, and you'll see the prototype panel. Now we have a background color, which is actually the color behind in the browser window when we preview this. So you can make it look something different, maybe match something you're going for. We also have origin. Origin is the first screen or frame, we'll call it because it's Figma, that users will see. So if you have a really large app, for instance, and you have a billion different screens out here, maybe you want to show somebody a particular part of the process. You could go in and say, make the origin that screen like login home, and that's where the prototype would start from. Now make sure it's home because this is a simple app. And then we have connections down here. So the whole idea, this is actually really simple. Whole idea is you either go to a screen and you select a screen or you select an object. Once you click on the search icon down here, now you're gonna need to click a couple times to get in there. You're gonna see this little dot to the right. So the dot is basically a connector. So you can drag that connector and connect it to a screen. Once you let go, you've created a prototype connection. Now with that connection selected, and you can actually remove them by dragging off if you wanna do that, but don't do that. On the right, you're gonna see the transition and the behavior. Now if you hover over it, you're gonna see what it looks like. It's gonna give you a preview. If you click on instant, try push. And what it's gonna do is show you what it's gonna look like if you go over the transition here to see how it happens. Once you choose certain behaviors, you can set up a duration, which is the time it takes to go from one screen to the next, a direction to go in, up, down, left, right, that kind of thing, and easing. If you wanna have it start slow, ease in, end slow, or do both, ease in and out. That way when you hover, you can see what it looks like. Now we can create as many connections as we want. So why don't you come to login home here, click on the whole screen on the frame itself, grab that little circle, and connect to the next frame. Once again, we can set up connections. You can try different things. Now we can also remove connections if we want to do that, but we want to try this out. So to try out your prototype, click on present. Should open in a separate browser window here, usually. It's going to show you the background, which was chosen as black to start with, and it'll start on the screen that you had selected content on. So come down here, you can see the arrows. We can go between screens. Click the previous arrow to go to the first one. And if you come out here and just click in there somewhere, you can see where the hotspots are. So we can see it way down there. Click on that and it should show you what you're gonna, what you got. Now I just clicked again and it took me over, but the problem with having an entire frame have a prototype connection or action is that if you click anywhere, it's gonna take you to that next uh, screen. Now in the upper right here, you're gonna see that we have share prototype. If you click on that, it's gonna allow you to share this prototype with other people. And we're gonna talk a little bit about sharing later on. So I'll get rid of that. Okay, close this up, come back, and we've got ourselves a starting prototype. Now go ahead and press the minus key. And what we're gonna do is just show you something really quick here. I'm gonna use my space bar and move up. If you come out here, you should actually now see this arrow. This arrow is the origin, essentially. You can actually drag that to different origin frames so it's different. I didn't see that before, but now I see it. And let's take this frame and we're gonna duplicate it down. So press Option on Mac, Alt on Windows and just duplicate it straight down. And if you want to, we could make it to where there's a login screen. Somebody goes in and they tap on login and they go to this and it's maybe a modal. It's a an overlay, for instance. If you come to the rectangle tool, let's zoom into that object. So press Shift 2 to zoom into it. Now let's draw a rectangle. It needs to be a little bit bigger than the whole thing here, so we're gonna make it a little bit bigger, but go a little bit larger. I'll go back up here and make it larger. There we go. Come back to design. You're gonna wind up going back and forth between design a fair amount and prototype. Come to fill here and let's maybe choose a darker gray. And then let's apply an effect. Come to effects and you can see we've got a lot of effects. If you click on the plus, we can add a drop shadow if we want. We can do things like layer blurs, inner shadows, or background blurs. So if you choose background blur, it's gonna blur everything behind it. Now, we need to change the fill transparency here to something that's lower. So I'm gonna press the shift key and use my arrow keys down. And you're gonna see it's gonna do a little bit of blur back there. Now, how much blur depends on our effect settings. So if you click on this little icon here to the left of background blur, you can change the blur amount. So we can make it more blurry, less blurry, that kind of thing. And that way, we're just simply setting up an overlay. And if I zoom out a little bit, 
We can make it to where if somebody taps login, they come here and it's an instant transition. So anyway, that gives us an idea of some of the things that we can do as far as prototyping are concerned to be able to share and create things. Next, we're going to start to take a look at working with teams in Figma.